Good morning. Welcome to Mayagiri Academic Assist. Today we are discussing about the National Income Estimation. So, first of all, we are going to discuss some basic concepts of national income. The main national income concepts are, we know the national income is considered as the domestic income and the external income. The first main concept of national income, the domestic and national difference. And domestic income means the income sources earned from within the political boundary or in the domestic territory. And the national income we consider, we just consider the external source of income. And the second concept of national income, the domestic variable, the same way we are going to analyze the market price terms and the factor cost terms. So any national income variable we can express in market price terms of factor cost. So the market price means the government intervening to the market sector and fixing the tax on certain kind of commodities or goods or services. So the factor cost means the cost of factors. We know there are four factors of production we are used for the production process. The cost incurred for the factors of production we consider as a factor cost and the factor cost plus tax we can get the market price. And the main difference between the factor cost and the market price is the tax. So that tax we consider as the indirect tax is imposed by the government. So we can easily find out the factor cost value and market price value by using net indirect tax. So this is the major component we are using to identify the factor cost value and market price value. For example, market price minus net indirect tax, we can get the factor cost value and factor cost value plus net indirect tax, we can get the market price value. So this is the second component we are using to estimate the national income. And the third value, we are using the gross value and net values. So national income variables we can express in gross terms of net terms. Gross terms means it is a total figure that will be considered all type of transaction and economy or the external sector. Net terms means we are excluding something. We exclude certain kind of payments, we exclude certain kind of depreciation and all. The remaining present value or the net value we consider as the net transactions. So the gross and the net, the major difference between the gross and net, we are using one economic term to determine the gross and net, that is called the depreciation. So the depreciation is a variable we are using to identify the gross variable and net variable. So gross variable minus depreciation we can get the net value and net value plus depreciation we can get the gross value. So these are the three main components we are using to identify the national income. Okay, then we are going to analyze the methods of calculating national income. So there are three methods we are normally using to identify the national income and the first method is value and method and second method is income method and third method is expenditure method. So value and method is also called product method. So this is the first method we are using to estimate the national income. So here we analyze the value of goods and services in an economic system and on the basis of that value we analyze the national income. So we are using three components to determine the national income in value and method. And first one is value of output. So first of all we have to analyze the value of total output in an economy. So on the basis of the sales, total stock and the internal and external trade relation. So we can easily identify the total stock or total value of output in an economy. And sometimes we are using one more concept to identify the national income. That is called intermediate consumption. So we know that of firms are using some other commodities to produce further production activity. They are using certain commodities to produce additional commodities. So intermediate consumption means the goods for using another goods, producing another goods. So that is the intermediate consumption. So the value of output, intermediate consumption and value and these are the three components we are using to estimate the national economy, value added method or product method. And the value added means there is a difference between value of output and the intermediate consumption. So value of output we can represent with the B of intermediate consumption, the goods we are using for producing other goods. B of minus IC we can get value added. So this value added is exactly equal to 
GDP. That means the gross domestic product, that is the domestic income of the economy. When we are find out the value added, that means the total value of output minus intermediate consumption, we can get value added. And the value added is exactly equal to GDP and market value. First of all, we already discussed about what is market price and what is factor cost terms. When we have to find out the value added, and that is exactly equal to GDP MP. So after finding out the GDP, we can easily find out the national income amount. So this is the first method we are using to estimate the national income. Value of output, intermediate consumption, and value added, and that value added we consider as the GDP and market price. And the second method is called the income method. So this method is mainly consider the flow of income. So we analyze the national income on the basis of flow of income. So first we analyze what are the main sources of income, that is income generating sources in an economic system. Uh, mainly we classify the entire source of income into three categories, that means compensation of employees, operating surplus and mixed income from self-employed activities. So the compensation received by the employee sector that we consider COE, all the compensation received by employees. And we, we know that there are so many types of compensation received by employees, for example salary, wages, incentive, bonus, and there are so many types of compensation and all the compensation we consider under compensation of employees and the oper operating surplus is second component that means income generated from the properties and this is income generated from the work and this is the income generated from the properties and the third one other income sources. So when we are estimating the total national income of an economic system we consider the income from work, income from properties and other income. So compensation of employees plus operating surplus plus mixed income from self-employed, we can get the net domestic product and the factor cost. So this is just exactly equal to the domestic variable. So compensation, operating surplus and mixed income of self-employed activities and the final output is net domestic product and the factor cost. So when we get this NDPFC, you can easily convert it into GDP or NNP or any other national income aggregates by using that factor cost value, market price value or depreciation and other net factor income from output. Any variable we can add to this particular variable, then we can get other national income aggregates. So this is the second method. And there are so many variables we are using to estimate the compensation of employees like the salary received by employees, wages and other incentive bonus. There are so many types of compensation and operating surplus mainly classified into four categories and range, interest, profit and the royalty. These are the four main operating surplus value and range we already know this is the return of land and interest the return of capital and profit the return of organization or enterprise and royalty is the least value. So these four factors we consider as the operating surplus values and this operate, these four values add together we can get the total income from properties. And when we are estimating the national income in income method, sometimes these variables are directly given, otherwise the total operating surplus value is given, otherwise any subcomponent of this variable also may be given. For example, this profit is a common variable and this profit variable we can divide it into various subgroups, like the profit we can classify it into various types. For example, corporate tax. So corporate tax is considered as one of the component of profit and the dividend we consider as one component of profit and another one undistributed profit also we consider as the component of profit. So this three variables also we consider as operating surplus value. Sometimes the profit is given otherwise this three variables, many of the three, these three variables is given and that variable also we consider as operating surplus value. So this is about the operating surplus and the mixed income, the income from other economic activity that also we consider to find out the national income. So compensation of employees plus operating surplus plus mixed income from self-employed we can get NDPFC and after we find out the NDPFC and that NDPFC we can easily convert it into NNPFC or GDPFC or GDPMP because we already discussed how to convert a normal gross value into net value, a market price into factor cost etc etc. Okay. And the third method we are going to analyze that is expenditure method. So this we are going to discuss more detail about expenditure method. So expenditure method is mainly deals the flow of expenditure in an economic system. The expenditure means the consumption expenditure is there, investment expenditure is there, and other government expenditure is there. There are so many types of expenditures. So here we analyze the aggregate situation of an economic economy. Uh, on the basis of expenditure side. So, an economic system we mainly define, that's 
b plus i plus g and x minus m. This is the shortest definition of, a, of an economic system. And c means the consumption, i is the investment, and g is the government expenditure, and x minus m is the net export value. So the consumption expenditure, which means the aggregate consumption expenditure of an economy, it includes the consumption expenditure of household and the firms. And when we add the total consumption expenditure of household and the consumption expenditure of firms, we can get the aggregate consumption expenditure of an economy. And the second common is the investment expenditure. We know the investment is an aggregate concept. The government also invests in money, household also invests in money, and the firm also invests in money. So when we have to find out the national income, first of all we have to identify the investment criteria of government, investment criteria of firms, and investment criteria of household sector. So the investment of government, investment of firms, and investment of household, we can get the total aggregate investment expenditure. So C and I. And the G means the government consumption expenditure. So here G is the only component we are using to identify the government consumption expenditure. So the government is sometimes going to act like a consumer, otherwise it's going to act like a producer. So government also spending money for various activities. They are spending money for public welfare, social welfare, defense measures, and there are so many ways of government expenditure. And G is considered as government consumption expenditure, consumption expenditure of household and firms, investment expenditure of the three sectors of household, government and firms. And this is the only component we are using to determine the government expenditure. And X minus of this is called a net export. And sometimes export minus import, we can get the next net export value. That means the returns from foreign trade activities. So export minus import, the net export value. So this is the shortest definition we are to determine a four sector model economy. So in order to identify the national income in expenditure method, we are using these four components. And the total consumption expenditure, for the purpose of analysis, we classify the entire consumption expenditure, investment expenditure, and government expenditure in the subcategories. And the consumption expenditure, we classified into private final consumption expenditure, which means all type of private consumption we consider under this private final consumption expenditure because it includes the consumption expenditure of government and the consumption expenditure of firms. So that is called the private final consumption because it's private final consumption expenditure. And the second component of consumption expenditure that is government final consumption expenditure, the consumption expenditure of government sector we consider under this government final consumption expenditure. So when we expand the total consumption expenditure of an economy into two subgroups, private final consumption expenditure and then government final consumption expenditure. And the same way, we just going to expand the investment sector in the economy. So gross domestic fixed capital formation, the entire investment criteria in the economic system that can be classified into gross domestic fixed capital formation. It includes the investment expenditure of government, investment expenditure of household and investment expenditure of Firms. So that is why we include the gross term. Gross means the total, sum total of all the investment criteria in the economy. Gross domestic fixed capital formation. That is called the GDFXCF. So this is the third component we are using to determine the national economy expenditure method. And the next one is X minus M, the export minus import value. The total value of export minus total value of import, we can get the net export. That means how much we are spent for import that we have excluded from the total export returns and the remaining value we consider as the net export. So these are the three main components we are using to identify the national economic expenditure method. Once again I just conclude private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic fixed capital formation and these three main components plus X minus M, that means net export, and we just add some more variables to identify the national income. For example, change in stock, private final consumption expenditure, government final consumption expenditure, gross domestic fixed capital formation, net export, change in stock, plus net factor income from abroad. These are the variables we are using to estimate the national income expenditure. I think already familiar about the private final consumption expenditure means the consumption expenditure of household and firms. Government final consumption expenditure means the expenditure of government side and gross domestic fixed capital formation means the total investment expenditure of government, household and firms. X minus M means the net export value and change in stock which means the difference between the operating stock and the closing stock. Net factor income from abroad which means the external source of income. It is
the difference between factoring of to a product and factoring of from a product. So there is the net factoring of from a product. When we add these variables together, we can get net national product and factoring of. That is exactly equal to the national income. So this is the we have to find out the national income expenditure method. Okay. So once again I conclude the portion. So there are three methods of national income. And one is value added method. And second one is income method. And third one is expenditure method. And value added method means we can analyze the national income on the basis of flow of value of variable. That means flow of goods on the basis of flow of goods we can analyze the national income. And income method means we can analyze the national income on the basis of flow of income. And the expenditure method we can analyze the national income on the basis of flow of expenditures. And here we use three variables to determine the national income. Value of output, intermediate consumption and value added. Below minus IC we can get value added. And that value added is exactly equal to GDP MP. And income method, there are three variables. Compensation of employees are there. Operating surplus are there. Mixed income from self-employees. These three variables we are using to estimate the national income and income method. When we add these variables, Together we can get NDP FC and that NDP FC we can convert it into any other form by using that factor cost value depreciation or net factor income from a group. And the expenditure method, the all the expenditure components add together we can get the NNP FC and the main components of this method are private final consumption expenditure, government final consumption expenditure, gross domestic fixed capital formation. X minus net export value and change in stock value plus net factor income from abroad, external income. These are the commons we are using to the national economy. Expedition. Okay. So this is about the national income estimation procedure. And the next we are going to discuss about the problematic area that we can discuss in that class.